So to massage through the foot, you start off um, ideally in barefoot, if you can, just rolling up and down the length of the arch of the foot. And again, you can control how much pressure you put in, shifting your body forwards and back. So then you can move the ball from side to side, starting from the heel, and you can work right the way through the foot, again, controlling how much pressure you put into that. To mobilize through the inside of the arch, start pressing from the heel, dropping the outside of the foot through to the floor, and working up from the heel through to the toes. You can do it as a roll, or you can do it as continuous pressure. And then you can work the outside of the foot, so again, starting with that ball up round the heel, letting that inside of the foot drop forwards. And again, you can hold it as static pressure or you can roll up. And the idea is that you're just mobilizing through all those bones up through the foot. You can also use static compression through the middle of the arch, just pressing and holding and pushing your weight into it. If you bring the ball into the back of the heel and then you just placing the forefoot on the floor and then just twisting the forefoot back and forth. So this is our stiletto pose. So this is massaging through the heel of the foot. Again, this is better with a spiky ball rather than your solid balls. And then if you switch the ball to the forefoot, again, you can apply static pressure. This is good for your hot feet. And what you can also do is a contract and relax. So squeeze the toes around the ball, holding it for 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is finished, just relax through that foot and roll the ball forwards and backwards. So then you can rest the ball into the arch of the foot. And we're just going to take a full roll down from here. So knees are nice and soft, chin to chest, peeling down one vertebrae at a time. And having that ball underneath the arch is just stretching through that calf and really working the back of that fascial line. Just hanging in the bottom of that stretch. Again, you can always try and extend the knee back a little bit more to increase that calf stretch and then tuck your bottom under and then peel back up through the spine one vertebrae at a time, keeping those knees nice and soft. So you repeat that whole sequence on the foot on the other side.